afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brienne, and welcome back to our preschool story hour. The series where we do an afternoon story time for our preschoolers three times a month. And each month focuses on a different theme. Now in a little bit I'm going to tell you what this month's theme is. It is the month of January, and you can probably take a guess of what the theme will be, depending on the holidays we have this month. But before I do that, we are going to start with our welcome song. Now follow along in your accompanying song sheets. The welcome song is The More We Get Together. And as always, I always sing it first, and then my friends will join along with me, okay? Are we ready? All right, here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Everybody, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, boys and girls, give yourselves a round of applause. Now, as I mentioned before, we are now in the month of January. And there are two very important events that take place in the month of January. And those are... It's the start of our brand new year. January 1st is New Year's Day. So we always dedicate January to the celebration of the new year. And on January... Hold on. On January 18th, it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So, the themes, the combined theme for this month is... New Year's and Martin Luther King Day. All right, so I have a book that I'll read every story time session for the month of January and three books that will change each week. So we have Angelina Ice Skates, which I'll be reading for the whole month of January as it focuses on the new year. Uh, we have Martin Luther King Day, which I'll be reading this week. And then we have two winter books, because January is also winter, and they will be read during the following weeks. But we are going to focus on our New Year's Day book first, and I have a song to go with it. Now, just so you know, our New Year's Day songs are from the website, The Early Childhood Academy. If you're interested in viewing these songs as well as others, please click on the link that's accompanied in this description. But we are going to sing our first New Year's song called New Year's Day. F please follow along on your song sheets. And it goes a little something like this. New Year's Day, New Year's Day comes but once a year. On New Year's Eve we celebrate and ring it in with cheer. New Year's Day, New Year's Day comes but once a year. On New Year's Eve we celebrate and ring it in with cheer. Everybody, New Year's Day, New Year's Day comes but once a year. On New Year's Eve we celebrate and ring it in with cheer. New Year's Day, New Year's Day comes but once a year. On New Year's Eve we celebrate and ring it in with cheer. Good job boys and girls. All right, so the first book I'm going to read to you today is called Angelina Ice Skates. Now, the author of this story is Catherine Hollibird, and the author writes the words of the story. The illustrator is Helen Craig, and the illustrator draws the pictures to the, of the, to the story. And the publisher is Pleasant Company Publications. They're the ones who print the book and send it to the bookstores and libraries. 
So are we ready? All right, here we go. Angelina absolutely loved snowy winter days when she could ice skate with her friends on Miller's Pond. The ice sparkled like glass and they raced across it in pairs, practicing spins and twirls and figure eights. Everyone in the village was getting ready for New Year's Eve and Angelina was preparing a special ice skating show. Her little cousin Henry wanted to be in the show too even though he often tumbled off the ice and fell into the snowbank. We'll need someone to be the Snow King, said Angelina's friend Flora, pirouetting across the ice as the Snow Princess. I'll be the king, shouted Henry, but then he tripped and slid into Alice, who was going to be the snow fairy. You better be a snow shovel, said Alice, crossly as she dusted off her skates. Don't worry, Henry, said Angelina. Hold on to me and let's practice skating together. They linked their tails and tried to skate in a circle. But it wasn't easy on the slippery ice. Just then, Spike and Sammy, two big boys from school, raced by playing hockey and almost knocked them all over. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. Hey, shouted Felicity. But the boys were already gone, laughing and yelling across the ice. Never mind, said Angelina, helping Felicity get her balance. Let me show you how to skate backward. So it seems like a one-time thing, right? Angelina doesn't seem worried. Do you think it will happen again? Do you think it could have been an accident? Well, let's continue to read and find out. But before long, Spike and Sammy tore past again, spraying snow in all directions. When they zipped through Angelina's rehearsal a third time, she got angry. Please stop interrupting us, she scolded. But the boys just laughed, grabbed Angelina's scarf, and tweaked Flora's whiskers. Little ballerinas can't catch us, they shouted as they zoomed away. Angelina and her friends chased Spike and Sammy all across the ice. And then Angelina made a huge snowball and hurled it at the boys. This looks like it's going to be a fight. Great! A snowball fight, Spike yelled, throwing one back at Angelina. Then everybody started throwing snowballs everywhere. And soon Miller's Pond was a blizzard of flying snow and shouting skaters. So it looked like it turned out to be a huge snowball fight. Looks like their parents stopped it and they don't look that, they don't look like they're, well, it looks like they're cold. Do you think they're going to resolve their issues? Well, let's find out. The next day, Angelina put on her skates and whizzed past Spike and Sammy, snatched their caps, and raced off laughing with the boys just behind her. They were very fast, but Angelina could do all sorts of tricky twists and spins, and just as Spike and Sammy thought they would grab her, she spun out of reach and they smashed into each other, collapsing on the ice. What do you think? Game over? Let's find out. Spike gazed at Angelina in admiration. You ballerinas are fast. Would you like to be in our show? Asked Angelina, tossing back their caps. Spike and Sammy leapt up. Yes, they shouted, skating in circles around her. So it looks like they finally are working together. Do you think they're going to have the best show ever? Well, let's see. 
Sammy loved doing funny tricks, and Spike, who could skate backward, was proud to be the Snow King. Best of all, they helped Henry build a huge snow fort. It will make a nice snow palace for our show, said Henry enthusiastically. What a great idea, admired Angelina. On New Year's Eve, the whole village dressed up and came to celebrate. Miller's Pond looked magical as the performers skated onto the ice in Mrs. Mouseling's costumes, and Henry's snow fort gleamed in the moonlight. When Angelina danced into the spotlight that, that night, she felt just like a real snow queen. Spike and Sammy did exciting leaps and jumps together, and Henry was thrilled to be the king's attendant, while Felicity, Flora, and Alice seemed to fly across the ice like delicate snowflakes. At the end of the performance, as the magic hour of midnight approached and fireworks sparkled in the sky, Angelina and her friends wished everyone joy and peace, and they all sang and danced together to welcome in the new year. And that is the end of the story. I hope that you enjoy it, and it teaches a wonderful lesson as well. You do more when you work together than you do when you're fighting all the time. All right. So let's start off with our other New Year's song called Ring the Bells. And it goes a little something like this. Ring, ring, ring the bells. Ring them loud and clear. Let's tell everyone around that the new year is here. Everybody, ring, ring, ring the bells, ring them loud and clear. Let's tell everyone around that the new year is here. All right, good job, boys and girls. Now, as I mentioned before, this coming Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we're going to read a book about Martin, Martin Luther King Jr. But before we do that, we are going to sing a Mar our first Martin Luther King Day song. Now all the Martin Luther King Day songs that you see in your song sheet today are from the website Kid Sparks. If you're interested in this song as well as other songs, please feel free to click on the link in this description. But the first Martin Luther King Day song goes a little something like this. Freedom, freedom, let it ring. Let it ring, said Dr. King. Let us live in harmony. Peace and love for you and me. Freedom, freedom, let it ring. Let it ring, said Dr. King. Everybody, freedom, freedom, let it ring, let it ring, said Dr. King. Let us live in harmony, peace and love for you and me. Freedom, freedom, let it ring, let it ring, said Dr. King. Okay, good job, boys and girls. And it leads us to our next book. This book is called Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The author is Clara Cella, and the author writes the words of the story. The consulting editor for this book is Dr. Gail Sanders Smith. Now, an editor is a person who looks at the book and makes corrections or suggestions for corrections if needed. The publisher is Capstone Press, which is a capstone imprint. So we ready? Here we go. Hello, 
MLK Jr. Day. Dr. Martin Luther King was a brave leader. He helped lead the Civil Rights Movement. Americans honor him on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a national holiday. It is on the third Monday of January. Government offices and schools are closed that day. Dr. King dreamed of a world without racism. People still celebrate that dream today by helping others and working for peace. How it began. Martin Luther King Jr. grew up in a time of segregation. Black people had fewer rights than white people. Dr. King worked to, cha to change unfair laws through peaceful ways. Some people disagreed with him. In 1968, he was shot and killed. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was first celebrated in 1986. Across the country, people walked in peace marches and listened to speeches. Let's celebrate. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. How will you celebrate? Get to know your neighbors, have a block party, or a neighborhood walk. Help others, volunteer to walk a neighbor's dog, offer to rake leaves or shovel the sidewalk. Collect supplies for your school. Make the world a better place for the future. Plant trees, pick up litter, follow Dr. King's example and treat others kindly and fairly. All right. So that's a nice simple little biography about Martin Luther King Jr. Now, as the book mentioned, he was born in a period of segregation. And what that means is people weren't always treated equally. As mentioned in the book, black people were separated from white people and they weren't given the same rights as white people were. And Dr. King did not like that. He wanted to change it, bring the whole world together so we can all live in peace and harmony. But sadly, other people didn't like that. And they did try to stop it. But as the years went on, people grew to understand Dr. King's message and what he wanted. And that's why in 1986, they dedicated this one day to Martin Luther King Jr. So people do will celebrate by doing block parties. They'll have the whole neighborhood join together. Everybody helps each other out. Now, some of those ideas may not happen this year due to current circumstances. But there are some small things you boys and girls can do. You can help collect, like, collect food for people in need or collect supplies for your school. Maybe you could plant trees. Anything to help make the world a better place. Now, we have some time and if you need more time you can always pause, but in your email you got a coloring page about MLK Junior Day. So we're going to spend some time coloring in this coloring page. 
I'll give you about six minutes or so. So once you're ready, you can begin. I can, I'll, I'll, I'll do this with you. Well, I hope you boys and girls are having a great day today. I hope you're looking forward to the new year. And maybe it's a little snowy outside. Maybe it's cold. Maybe it's a nice day. But I hope no matter what it is, it's a great day. Oh, and by the way, this coloring page is from the website Doodle Art Alley. So if you're interested in this, as well as other Martin Luther King Day coloring pages, feel free to click on the link in the video description. But you are doing a great job, boys and girls, so keep going. You're doing a good job, boys and girls. Are you doing good so far, boys and girls? All right, if you're still working, keep going. But here's what here's what mine looks so far. Yours may look different, but that is okay. about two more minutes for this. And keep going. You're doing a good job, boys and girls.
right, so we're going to stop right here for right now. And here's what I've done so far, and I will be finishing this later on. But if you need more time to finish, you can always pause this video and come back to it when you're finished. But in any event, let's sing another song about Martin Luther King Day. And this is our second Martin Luther King Day song. And it goes a little something like this. Martin Luther, Martin Luther King had a dream, yes he did. Martin Luther King had a dream, yes he did. He dreamed we lived together, having love for one another, and his dream is still alive through you and me. Everybody, Martin Luther King had a dream, yes he did. Martin Luther King had a dream, yes he did. He dreamed we lived together, having love for one another, and his dream is still alive through you and me. All right, good job. All right, so I hope you think about Martin Luther King Jr. on Martin Luther King Day, and I hope you do something very nice to make the world a better place. And on that event, we are going to wrap up our story time for today. And next week, we are going to continue with our New Year's theme. But let's wrap up with our goodbye song. And it goes a little something like this. Hands go up, hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can jump up onto shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Everybody, hands go up, hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can jump up onto shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Thank you so much for joining me, boys and girls. I look forward to our next story time session. But take good care of yourselves. Have a great day and I will see you next week.